very good Wednesday morning, the 8th of February. My scripture is from Isaiah 43, verse 9. But the heading is, fear not. I'm sure you're going to love this. It goes, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. God's word through Isaiah tells us what kind of God he is. Granted, this prophecy was given to Israel, but logic applies it to everyone. He has redeemed those whom he has purchased and summoned by name are his. So, firstly, that has plenty of implications. We might read it as our obligation to serve him and depend on him to the neglect of our own sense of autonomy. And it's true, as his redeemed ones, we are obligated to him. We were bought with a price. But there's a warmer, more encouraging side to this verse. God doesn't go to the trouble to save and cultivate the people only to let them flounder in their own troubles. Even in their rebellion, he saves. And secondly, think of what this means. When we pass through the waters, and we will pass through them, he will be there. When we walk through the fire, no matter how hot it feels, he will not be burnt, we will not be burnt. The Holy One of Israel is the Holy One of all he has bought. He didn't redeem us to then leave us alone. No, sorry. Application. I make a statement. Now, do you see how this changes everything for us? The knowledge of what God has already invested in us ought to be enough to convince us that he will not give up on his investment. He knew the day he redeemed you, that your future, what your future would look like, and he committed to it. My second statement, that means there is nothing you are experiencing now that was not part of his foresight in your redemption. You were redeemed, you are his. That's a huge obligation, but it's a huge relief. You are his. He will watch over you as a treasured possession, because that is what you are. He is never careless with his property. There is nothing more secure in this world. I pray. Thank you, Lord, that I am bind up together with you by your courts of love. In Jesus' name, amen.